Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at a really popular and incredibly useful little component for anyone getting into electronics or needing a simple audio boost, the LM386 Audio Amplifier Module. This particular one is a single piece module, often found under names like Stay Home, and it's built around the ubiquitous LM386 integrated circuit. What this tiny board does is take a small audio signal and amplify it significantly so it can drive a small speaker or headphones. It's designed to be super easy to use, making it perfect for hobbyists, students, or anyone building a simple audio project. The module itself is quite compact, usually just a small PCB with the LM386 chip, a few capacitors, resistors, and often a small potentiometer for adjusting the volume or gain. One of the key features of this module is its gain. It's specified right there, 200 times amplification. This means even a relatively weak audio signal, like the output from a microcontroller's DAC or a small audio source, can be boosted enough to be audible through a speaker. This high gain is fixed internally on many versions of the LM386, though some modules might offer options to change it. The module also typically includes a 10K resistance, which is often implemented as a potentiometer on the board, allowing for easy volume control right there on a the module itself. This is a really convenient feature for integrating it into projects without needing external components for volume adjustment. Another great aspect is the wide operating voltage range. This module can typically run on anywhere from 5 volts up to 12 volts. This flexibility means you can power it from various sources, a standard 5E USB power supply, a battery pack, like 9V or 12V, or even the power supply from another circuit you're building. This makes it very adaptable for different applications, whether it's a portable battery power device or something running off a wall adapter. So, what can you actually do with one of these? The possibilities are quite broad for small-scale audio. You can use it to add sound effects or speech to an Arduino or Raspberry Pi project. It's great for building a simple, low-power portable speaker. You could even use it as a basic headphone amplifier. Because it's so small and requires minimal external components, it's easy to breadboard with or integrate into a more permanent circuit on perfboard or a custom PCB. It's important to understand that this is a low-power amplifier. It's not going to drive large speakers or fill a room with sound. It's designed for small speakers, typically a few watts or less, or headphones. For its intended purpose, however, it performs very well. It provides a clean boost to the audio signal, and the integrated volume control is a big plus. While the LM386 chip itself isn't known for audiophile-grade performance, for most hobbyist applications, it's more than sufficient and offers excellent value for its low cost. It's a fundamental building block for many audio-related DIY projects and a great way to get started with audio amplification. Check out the video description for updated price. And thank you for watching this video.